recent movie outsold Forrest Gump and even The Lion King in China. Arguably, more people buy tickets to see his movies than anyone else's. And he's so big a box office draw that he has complete artistic control over all his films. And chances are you've never heard of him. Well, Judd Rose is about to change that. Bruce Willis is a wimp. Steven Seagal is a sissy. Even Arnold is an amateur next to the real last action hero. My name is Ching. Jackie Ching. In Asia, where making action movies is considered an art, Jackie Chan is the Stokowski of stunts. He doesn't just act in action scenes, he conducts them. Then coming back, stop everything. Then feet move. Then slow motion the glasses. The whole thing with the fighting coming up with It's more like a rhythm. Very important for me is the rhythm. Jackie has such wonderful control of his body when he's doing his kung fu fighting that uh, he's like Kelly or Astaire. It's, uh, it's pure grace. It's, it's ballet, but with noisier sound effects. If you find yourself chuckling at Chan, it's no accident. His movies mix action and goofy humor in a way his fans find irresistible. We caught up with Jackie Chan here in Malulaba, a slightly seedy seaside resort on the east coast of Australia. Chan's here shooting scenes for his latest movie, Story of the CIA. In it, Chan plays a Hong Kong cop who's chasing a spy who's smuggled uranium to fuel a nuclear warhead that's going to... Oh, why bother? You want plot? Watch Masterpiece Theater. You want action? Chan's your man. Action! This being Australia, Chan is down under, water that is. The set is an aquarium. Tourists stroll nearby even as scenes are being shot. Not the way they do it in Hollywood, but this is definitely not Hollywood. For one thing, they work fast. Action. Hey. Film shot today will be edited tonight, so director Stanley Tong rarely sleeps. No matter. When he's not dozing, the director spends most of his time taking direction from Jackie. Control freak? Well, consider. The biggest movie star in Asia and much of the rest of the world, Chan gets more than $5 million a film. Action! And he gives a lot of bang for the buck. Right now, I'm the producer, director, actor, action director, half cameraman, uh, editing man, uh, music. I do everything by myself. I wouldn't be surprised if I went to one of your movies, you're sitting there taking tickets from the crowd. <laughs> 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 You set yourself on See? fire. Oh, and there's one other bit of business Jackie takes care of himself, all the stunts. That man jumping off the building and grabbing the rope ladder, it's Jackie. See, you were about 10 stories high when you made See? that jump. Yeah. Look. Why don't you put a net under there? I must show the audience how high it is. And that man slamming into the top of a mosque 100 feet above Kuala Lumpur, that's no stunt man. And there he goes again. Yeah, very scared. You actually were hanging from a helicopter. Yes. And you had it swing you over a moving look, train. Yeah, look. Then he tried to lower, lower, lower. One time was very low. Then I opened my leg. I will never do again. But at least in my life, I do once. Yeah. Yeah. And once is plenty, I would think. For Chan, movie making is a contact, no, make that a blood sport. No, three times. I three just, times you broke your nose. I just put my mouth, la yeah. last one. Yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah. Face from the explosion, 
by George. Yeah. Chan got no breaks growing up. He was only seven when his parents, desperately poor, sold him to a Chinese opera school, where he was trained in everything from martial arts to the vocal arts. The teacher said, I very have a talent for singing. For singing? Yeah. Yeah, like a... This film, Painted Faces, depicts Chan's time at the school where students were routinely brutalized. I never forget one day the teacher hits me. Ten hit. Pa! Cannot tear. When he got out after ten years, he became a stuntman. And then an actor in a string of kung fu films all flops. The problem was who he wasn't. Chan was promoted as heir to the late Bruce Lee, and no one could compete with that legend, so Chan reinvented himself. When Bruce Lee kick high, I kick low. Bruce Lee, after punch, he, he hit somebody's stomach. The, then I look at, okay, when I punch somebody, you know, I'm yelling. You might call it Kung Fu comedy. By adding some slapstick to his acrobatic grace, Chan set himself apart from the legion of Bruce Lee wannabes and became a star. You do not need words to understand the appeal of Jackie Chan. Like Hitchcock said when he made Psycho, I want the Japanese audience to scream at the same time the Hollywood audience does. Well, with Jackie, everyone laughs or screams at the uh, same time. If words aren't needed, it's no surprise. Chan loves American silent comedians, and many of his stunts pay homage to them. <laughs> 50 years ago, Buster Keaton and the Jackie Chan version. Harold Lloyd's most famous scene. And now Jackie, and by the way, there's nothing to catch him if he falls. Well, almost nothing. I would imagine that it costs an awful lot of money to insure you. That's no insurance. Nobody will insure no. you. In Asia, I don't, I don't, I'm not surprised. In Asia, insurance, the movie business, first one, Jackie Chan, is blacklist. Go figure. <laughs> but even as Chan gets burned, beaten, and banged up, nobody bleeds and nobody dies on screen. In Asia, that qualifies his films as family entertainment. Then again, Chan's trademark is to save the blood for outtakes of failed stunts which are shown under the closing credits of all his movies. This one, I'm going to hospital. This one. Oh, I can hardly look. This one. Boom. What did you do to yourself on that one? I, I just, I cannot breathe anymore. Oh. The idea is to assure his fans he's no Superman, that he messes up too. Of course, when he does, it can have dire consequences, as in this flood stunt from Armor of God. You I fell. fell. I, fell. I tried. After I fell, I tried to grab all the trees, but all the trees just very easy to break. Chan fell 40 feet, hit a rock head first, and almost died. All the blood come from my ear. What are you thinking as you look at yourself up there? Hey, that's me. That's me. That's not the double. Most important, I get hurt a lot after I broke my arm, broke my leg. But when the screen comes out, all the audience, yeah, yes, then. People ask me, are you do that? Of course. Then I say, of course, that's me. <laughs> then I'm proud of it. Dangerous stunts? No problem. You want to rattle, Chan? Try this. Uh, here's a dangerous, a love scene. That's very dangerous yes. in Jackie Chan movie. Yeah, hello. When the girl <laughs> kisses me, I just keep smiling. I cannot stand it. <laughs> See? <laughs> You're a fighter, not a lover. OK, I, I got you. <laughs> That's right, Jackie is one action star who almost never gets any, well, action. He says love scenes would upset his female fans. Chan also doesn't like women doing stunts in his films, but he broke that rule for this woman. Michelle Yeoh is Asia's top action actress. 
she too does her own stunts, like this one from Chan's Super Cop. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, ouch, that must have hurt. Yep, that's Michelle herself falling on the pavement. He would say, you know, women shouldn't fight, except for Michelle, because he knows I'm going to kick him in his butt if he says that. <laughs> the ultimate contest, it's you versus Jackie. Who wins? In a skirt, I would. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Hey, nice heels, Jackie. Off screen, as far as we know, Chan sticks to pants. Let's go! Chan is a bachelor who keeps his private life quiet, which isn't so easy when he's mobbed by the media and fans almost anywhere he goes. Oh, every year all the press drives me crazy. At the same time, he could walk down any street in America and probably go unnoticed. Even after being Asia's biggest star for almost 20 years, Chan's been unable to make a dent in Hollywood. He's tried. In the early 80s, he came to America and made several movies that flopped badly. That's not a threat. That's a promise. The director said, Jackie, I make you like a clean Eastwood. Yeah. Don't move. You know, make my day. After the movie comes out, I just, that's not me. That's not me. Doesn't work in America doesn't work in Asia. But now, 15 years later, he's trying again, this time on his own terms. Rumble in the Bronx, which, by the way, was filmed entirely in Vancouver, will open next month in 1,500 theaters across America. Right now, I really hope I can get an American market. I really want to show something to the American audience, what I did. But even if Rumble stumbles, Chan will be a happy man. He says he's going to retire in a few years. Of course, he's been saying that for years, and you get the feeling they'll have to carry him out, still kicking, if not screaming. See? Oh, oh you got hit by a moving yeah. helicopter? Yeah. Oh, Jackie. See? Boom. Oh, oh. See? Oh, see the blood? I hope you'll take this the right way. You're nuts. Yes, crazy. But for the movie, I do everything for the movie. As we said, Jackie Chan is coming back to America. His latest movie, Rumble in the Bronx, opens nationwide on February 23rd.